The next encounter is Surachi. Now, Surachi is one where a lot of teams can get messed up and can fail. And so this one can be a little bit complicated. I would say that you're going to need some people who are good at kind of thinking on their feet in this. But if you practice it enough, you should get good at this encounter. So for this encounter, you're going to want to use a lot of roaming supers um, because you'll be able to, you have a lot of ads you have to clear out and you can get orbs to give people their supers back. You'll need a couple wells to the encounter just to help with DPS, but this is not a heavy DPS encounter. This is more of a puzzle and clearing ads encounter. So as you go into the first room, you'll notice there's just a ton of ads. Kill the ads and you'll see Surachi. Surachi will be sitting on a plate and you'll notice that on the, the plate, there are three glowing areas that'll show up. You don't want to stand on those yet. So basically kill all the ads. Once you kill the ads, there'll also be an eye of ribbon that drops. We don't, I don't typically use that in the encounter anymore. You can use that to extend the encounter because you'll notice there's a timer that accelerates that sure she will wipe you if you don't finish that portion of the encounter. But again, the eye of ribbon will potentially extend that, but I don't use it these days. It's pretty easy to do without that. So you'll see the three plates and you'll see three nuts that show up. Once you see that, again, this is something you should probably call it before you get into the encounter. Three people are going to jump on at the same time onto those plates and grab the nuts. The reason you do it at the same time is the minute you drop, you go on those plates, you're going to start dying. So you have to be really quick about this. So you jump on the plate, you grab the nuts. What we do is we typically, you can do it either way. We shoot to the right. So whichever nut you have, you shoot the person to your right and you're trying to form a ring around Shurachi. Once you form that ring, and you'll notice it because there's an effect that comes up that shows you that it's complete, then you'll be able to do DPS. At that point, you want to put a well down. What we typically do is we'll use swords or we use shotguns, things that are close. That's typically the easy uh, way to do it. And again, you're not trying to completely kill her. You notice she has six phases. You're just trying to get her to the next phase. So you'll do that in one area. Then you'll go and you'll do it again. You'll kill ads grab the nut, shoot everyone, and then do damage to again. So once you finish those two phases, you're going to get to the next interesting wrinkle in this encounter. So in this next encounter, you're going to need four people that you called out at the beginning of the encounter. And so those people will be labeled one through four. When you go into the room, the other two people are going to do, they're going to use roaming supers or things like that to kill all the ads where possible. They're there to protect the other four. For the other four, as soon as you get in the room, Look to your left and you're going to see a you're going to see a thing on the wall, okay? And you also notice there's nine plates you can stand on. On the thing on the wall, you're going to notice there are nine sectors. So, if you think about it, again, same concept. First row, left to right, second row, left to right, third row, left to right. That's the order. Again, if you if you're older like me, you can remember a phone like this. It's kind of like the phone, right? You know, if you think about it, it's like the number pad 1 through 9. And so, what we do is again, you have 1 through 4. One, the person is one, is the person is going to go and get on the first plate first. Second person on second plate, third on third, uh, third plate, fourth and fourth. And what I mean by that is the order, again, which it shows from left to right on the first, left to right on the second, left to right on the third. So again, if you're the first person, you're going to have the first one, and again, one through four. Once you're clear with that, what we do is we just have everyone call their ready. We have one ready, two ready, three ready, four ready. Once everyone is ready, once you've heard that, there's probably one person you're typically coordinating with that says, okay, everyone jump on. So you all, at that point, jump on your plate, okay? Once you do that for long enough, you'll notice the plates fill up and you'll see a message show up. Once you do that, you get off the plate. What's going to happen then is... You're going to have another wall show up, and again, it's going to do the same thing, and you're going to have to do the same thing one through four. Now, one key thing is, is you need to remember which plate you hopped on previously, and there's a reason for that. You can only get on the same plate once. You can't get on it twice. So because of that, that and that will basically, that, that will stop the encounter from completing. You you won't be able to fill up the uh, the plates. So what you need to remember is, if you, for instance, if one has stepped on that plate already, right, the one that you rotate to, what we typically do is we set up like a rotation of people who rotate with each other, like maybe one and four, two and three. Again, you guys can work that out, but it's going to be something you have to do quickly on the fly. And again, you're going to do that a third time, and then that portion, that puzzle portion of the encounter is going to be done. Now, it's also really important when you get into this room the first time, if you have around a minute left on the timer, you're usually in pretty good shape. If you have less than that, it's just going to be really tight. So just keep that in mind. So once you do that three times, then you're going to see almost like these teacups 
That's what I call them because they kind of rotate. Um, but they're basically platforms that are gonna show up and you have to jump on. Now you have to be very careful about timing. Once everyone jumps on them, they're actually gonna fall. So you, you do have some funny things where someone jumps off the end as everyone else is jumping up and the thing rotates and then it's hard for everyone to get up. The other piece of this, after you get there on the second one, there's gonna be a knight that'll boop you off once you jump through the open area. So a lot of times what we do is when we get the last one, we'll throw a couple grenades up there to kind of kill him so we can get onto the next part of the encounter. So again, you're gonna do this a total of three times. And towards the end, it does get a little progressively more difficult, at least I found as you finish up the encounter. But as long as you control the ads, you're doing the plates correctly, and then doing the puzzle correctly, then when you get to that last thing with Shirachi, you're gonna kill her and you're gonna be done with this encounter. A couple things to remember, ammo economy is really important. So having finders on and things like that's gonna be really important because towards the end, it's kind of hard to have enough uh, ammo to finish up. That's where you could have some other supers, but again, just make sure you have different options that if you do run with ammo, like maybe a shotgun and a sword or other things, again, depending on what your fire team does, but you finish that and you go on to the next encounter. So again, guys, if you like these videos, feel free to check out my other raid guide videos. I have an entire list where you can get those if you're struggling with other raids, but that's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians of the Tower.